hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel it's Gil here again and thank you for stopping by today i'm so happy to be here and today i want to bring us a very light hearted topic but it's a very serious one it's something that a lot of us take for granted but it actually is affecting a lot of people so that's why i decided to talk about it today Today I'll be talking about praying for a good life partner, praying for a good man, praying for a good wife and at the same time doubting or um, saying words that are contrary to our prayers. Okay, so what do I mean? A lot of us have our list, things that we have written down, prayer requests that we have written down to God like okay I want a dark guy, I want a tall guy, I want him to be God fearing, I want him to be family oriented, I want him to love me, I want him to be rich, I want him to you know like the list that we normally write eh? even if it's not written down the list that we normally have in our head like for every girl or every guy who is at that age or at that stage because it's not even an age who is at that stage in their life where they feel that they want to settle down we have those things that we have put up as priorities like okay the person must be this the person must be that but what i've come to observe is that most of the time if not all the time when you sit around people or somebody or you're discussing with a friend a sister a brother who is at that stage where they want to settle down and and then you hear things like oh men are scum all men cheat all these men who are going to who are going to church or all these men who pretend that they are christians they are the worst uh, what other things do you hear what other things do they say like okay um all girls now are gold diggers they are either wanting your money and all those things we know the things that people say nowadays and then it gets me wondering I, i'm thinking like okay how has it gotten to the point where we believe that because a is like this b must be like this and c must be like this and if a b and c are like this it means that x y z are like that like how i want to understand this pattern of thoughts and i want to streak i want to strongly condemn it like you cannot be praying for a godly partner you cannot be praying for mr right and then everything that comes out of your mouth is contrary to your expectations contrary to your belief that okay god is going to answer your prayer even god will be like okay so what exactly is this person actually thinking you go behind and you're praying to God, you're like, oh God, I need to marry somebody who is this, I need to marry somebody who is that, I need this, I need that. And then the next minute, instead of you standing on your prayers and saying that, no, I believe that there are men out there who don't cheat. I believe that there are men out there who are godly, who are kind, who are clean, who are loving, who are caring, who are emotional. Instead of saying those things, Believing them, standing on them, you are saying, ah, no, <laughs> in this life now that they say, no man, there's no man that does not cheat. And you, you say it every day. You don't understand that there's something that keeps happening in your subconscious. Even though you want to have a God-fearing man, you keep on attracting people who are cheating. Yes because from the abundance of the heart the mouth to speak you keep saying every day oh everybody's a cheat the person that you go and end up with will be somebody who is a cheat whether you like it or not we are drawn to the things that we we say every day if you say oh i'm successful you work towards being successful if you say um if you believe that you're a failure you own everything that you do will just it will not work and that is that is the truth for everything that happens in life if you believe that you will meet a god-fearing person you meet a god-fearing person how do we get to the point where we believe that oh all girls are gold diggers all girls are are just there to suck the money out of men dry and then you meet a girl who would genuinely love you you meet a girl who truly and genuinely love you and you cannot see her for who she is because 
in, at the back of your mind you just have this feeling that oh all oh, girls are, are gold diggers they're only there to suck you dry and leave and they're only there for the things that they can achieve for you in such a way that even when she's showing you pure kindness love affection you feel that there's a motive behind it and then you're what what are you praying for why are we contradicting ourselves you're praying for one thing and you're believing the opposite it cannot work now it cannot work that's the simple truth and also you cannot get to the point where you're ready to settle down and you're putting your list before god oh i want a tall man i want a hard-working man i want a guy who is serious about family i want a guy who is uh very purpose driven i want a guy who who is loving caring emotional you cannot be saying those things to god eh and then the only people that you are dating or the only people that you're letting into your lives are people who are the opposite they're in the bar 24 7 they are going to the club 24 7 they can stay for five days without calling you they, when they call you it's like for one second and i just wanted to find out how you're okay bye how do those two things even work if you're praying for somebody who is all the things that you have presented to god on your list if somebody comes to ask you out and you look at your list and you're like oh the person does not have i'm not saying that oh there's a mr right somewhere that is going to fit into your list 100 percent but what i'm saying is most of the time we see the direct opposite of everything that we have prayed for but because we are lonely because we are tired of waiting because we are trying to validate that that subconscious in us that okay the truth is maybe there are no men like that anymore or there are no men like that at all let me manage the one that is going to come no that's not how it is supposed to be the truth is i know that most of the time we get frustrate, frustrated with waiting waiting in whichever circumstance see the whole waiting process is not funny at all and the truth is at that point where you are waiting be it for promotions and everything eh, that's the point where you get tested the most but what i want people to understand is do not be shaken if you are praying for something believe that that thing is going to come your way and the truth is you're going to see it manifest i have testimonies i am a testimony of it i have a lot of people around me who have prayed for amazing spouses and they they are living their dream yes you can quell with your spouse 24 7 but that's just like any other person who doesn't quarrel who doesn't have those small oh you're annoying me now i'm annoying you tomorrow and things like that who doesn't have it let's try to speak our truth let's try to pray our truth and let's try to believe our truth this goes even for our kids you have a child and in your head you want this child to succeed you want this child to be the best that a child has ever been or the best that is ever going to be every parent wants their child to succeed every parent wants their child to be the head and every parent wants that like to be proud of their children like okay this is my child i raised this child properly and this is how this child has become and things like that but the next thing you know is oh you're telling the child that's all you know how to do you can never do anything good in your life oh uh every time you must act stupid like you use words which are contrary to what exactly you want that child to be i feel like this goes very far to say our affirmations are very important like speak your truth say what you want believe in what you want and you will call the things that are not as though they were and they will come into existence tired of hearing oh men are scum women are gold diggers they are not good people again your kids are stupid the people around you are failures and and you the next second you're cursing everybody you're cursing yourself even in your own process and the next second you're you're cursing yourself in your own process and the next second you're hoping that things are going to get better it's not going to be, it doesn't work like that it does not work like that anywhere like it doesn't work like that you cannot be praying for something and doubting that that thing actually exists you cannot be praying for a good man and doubting that good men exist as far as there are good women out there there are 1001 good men out there and as far as there are good men out there there are 1001 good women out there let's speak positively on the things that we want let's pray about them and let's believe that actually those things are going to work for us the way that we want them to work i sincerely hope that this 
message gets to somebody who is still believing for something it must not even be a spouse it must not even be it could be anything it could be that promotion it could be a job it could be children it could be anything like just speak your truth and stand on your truth call out those things that are not there and they will come alive like dry bones shall definitely rise again so that is what i decided to tell you for today that let's learn to be positive let's learn to speak positively let's learn to be patient in our waiting time and things are going to work out for us let me know what you think about this in the comment section like do you think that um praying for a good man and believing that they don't exist is just a like it's just something that is normal like people saying that oh all men are scum and things like that but you're still hoping do we think that those things actually affect our lives and how things actually end up playing around us or let me know your thought pattern concerning this topic in the comment section and also if you have any topics any tutorials or anything that you think that you want me to do please don't forget to leave it down in the comment section i'll be watching i'll be interacting with you there as usual and until next time i'll see you in my next video bye